I thought the mating crisis was people are not having sex. Mm -hmm. So we're putting that on the shelf. So if it isn't that, what is the mating crisis? So the mating crisis can be traced back to uh, an essay my supervisor wrote in 2016. And he talks about this mismatch between women beginning to outpace men in educational settings. Now, when you combine this socioeconomic success of young women in recent decades with their evolved mate preference for an equal or higher status mate, it just simply means that there's a skew in terms of the lack of eligible men that are out there. So those few men at the top that women are interested in are less willing to commit to long-term mating because they're the scarcity and it becomes a problem. So women have a double-edged sword because highly educated women are competing with highly educated women and lower educated women for the same increasingly small pool of men that they're mm -hmm. deeming eligible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because because you can't define a man by the money in his pocket. I mean, if you fall in love with someone, it doesn't matter if they're rich as hell or broke as hell. And that's honestly, for me, my mom thinks that's my biggest problem. She's like, yo, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta have someone that can meet you where you're at. You know, you can't so, be taken so, care of. So do you find this to be an issue that you are at somewhere higher and you find a smaller I mean, I just pool find, of men? I just find like, you know, my, my ability to like, just where I'm at in my life, it is a lot higher. I'm 27 and I'm, I'm doing really well for myself. Well, one thing I do appreciate about this, and again, hook them horns, uh, William, the, uh, is that William is at least saying, you know, one thing I totally agree with is that women want to date at their level or higher. I yeah. think we can establish mm -hmm. that. That seems to be offensive to some people, but that is the case. And it doesn't just mean height or looks. It doesn't just mean money. Just in general, yeah. women want to date at their level or higher. higher so if yeah. you want to get more educated, if you get a master's degree, women tend to want men who have a master's degree or a PhD. Right. And then when you get to the 100K a mark, 100K a year mark, 17% of men make $100,000 a year or more, 17%. That's who you have to choose from. And 14% of men are six feet tall. So it's 17% times 14%, which is 2.3% of men are over, <laughs> make $100,000 a year and are six feet tall or yeah. taller. And I've so dated shorter them. men. Yeah. There you go. So, no, but, 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 it's, it's just my point. It's like, what, what is I'm saying is- Is that in America what, what, or is that in the world? Uh, in America. William is spot on with this. It's like, yeah. as women as women garner more, yeah. they want even more. Yeah. Right. When uh, when Rihanna was making hundreds of millions of dollars, she was dating a, a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't like, hey, I'm a, I, 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 hey, hun, hey, boo, I got you. I got, I'll get the yeah, ticket. Right. I'll get the, I'll get the car note. No, I'm making a hundred million. You need to be a billionaire to date Rihanna. What? Right. Like that's a, that's a part. And well, so that's so, what we're looking at with the Andrew Huberman story right mm -hmm. now. Is like he is a high stat, very high status, high value guy with six women apparently, maybe more. <laughs> that were interested in him, that were supposed to be educated, well-rounded, you know, empowered women who, who are really, you know, on their game and everything like, and yeah, you it. don't that's know exactly that say. this motherfucker might be with five or six or seven right. or eight women. You don't, say, that's not like, in your head. There's a 1%, right? There's a 1% in the world, really, that are successful. I mean, that's how I look at it, especially America. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a 1%, these parties, these events, LA, it's all really, this world is a lot smaller than you think it is. So you don't mm -hmm. know what grab, what what level, you know, at what party where Rihanna met that billionaire. Mm -hmm. She probably didn't even know he was a billionaire. Maybe she did. Maybe she knew but his can, brother. Can Who you, knows? But can, it was can you imagine all the other the girls energy. trying to get at you know that billionaire I mean? that Rihanna had to beat out? And Rihanna could beat out because she's an attractive, talented woman. Right. But my point is like, the, the, the issue that happens and what William is, is describing here is that if you're a man and you, these women are competing for you, the, one of the things that you have going for you as the man is that these women are competing for you. Right. And so now you have a lot of options. And then we go back to the Mac and Murphy thing. Now, all of a sudden, I have all these options and I might be more interested in casual sex than women. That doesn't make me weird. The problem is the lying. It's not the, yes. the, the, it's the, the lying. The, the, lying. Lying. the problem yeah. is the lying. Yeah. yeah, the you problem is lying. Be honest about it. Wa you know, wanting, casual, like... wanting casual sex in and of itself. Self. Like now, in general, is hedonism for hedonism's sake bad? I think Mackin would agree. Ho Math talked about this, and I would agree too. After you know, experiencing life, hedonism for hedonism's sake is bad. I yeah. just don't think that men being interested in casual sex in and of itself is bad. But in this case, if you were talking about these men, and all of a sudden they have all the there's top two and a half percent of men, you the top 
the top 10% of men on dating apps get 63% of the right swipes. That is so disproportionate. There's, there's not a you guy. You want to know something really funny about dating apps? Yeah. So I did this the other day because I was really bored. You know I love Bumble. Um, I was counting my Bumble swipes <laughs> it's left. It's like a video game for before you, Before I went right. I swear to God, my average was 300 lefts before I went one right. What does that mean? What is what is Bumble and what is lefts? Right. It's lefts like means left no. Name no. no. Right means right? you, yeah, so, you so, want so what them. I, what, what, so I counted them out, and the about, average was 300 yeah, swipes I believe, left. and I, don't, I, I may be misquoting this, right. but some data. Oh, that you were swiping on yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Aaron, Aaron Clary had some data. It was and like, I did this, and I counted it, because I was like, dude, yeah. how many fucking times were you going to Why were you saying no to all the guys? What was like the big component? Um, one physical well, attraction is my number one. That's what. Uh, so, yeah. dating apps, yo. Oh, on, on, average, on average, men swipe right 55% of the time and women swipe right about 5% of the time. That's about wow. the way it works. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I will say, though, Jessica, right? Yeah, Jesse. Jesse. I, I mean, I agree, I agree with you 100%. I feel like having that relationship where you guys are in love, you, you're like husband, wife, whatever. I don't know because I don't know you. But then you have interest in women, so you guys come to a mutual agreement and you guys bring a woman home. That's ideal. I mean, for yeah. what I think. Because at the end of the day, we're all human and we're not perfect and we're gonna be in our, our darkness in times, right? And if we're married or we're together, we're gonna be in that together. So in those moments, Let's decide to do this together. I you like know what I mean? Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't see, I don't see the <laughs> to bring a girl home out of darkness. <laughs> I just mean, no, I just mean, and I don't. I know I don't what mean, you mean. Yeah, if you're gonna have your lows, you're gonna have them yeah, together. Have if you're gonna enjoy together. stuff, yeah, enjoy do it together. together. Exactly. I get it. Yeah, it's just again, it's the outlines and the parameters that you put in your own relationships, and as long as you're honest with each other, like without That's any doubt, you have full trust, and you guys can afford. That's the problem is that some yeah. people can't afford to bring a third into the relationship. Right. Some people can't afford to, to put their toe in that pool because, A, they're not mature enough to leave it. Like, mm. okay, it was a one-night thing. I'm leaving it alone. They're going to get someone pregnant. They're not safe. They're, right. They get caught you up. Get sneaky. You get sneaky. Like, it, it, yeah. you, you cannot afford to bring something into your relationship to risk your relationship if your relationship is not solid as it is. Right. So you, you make a parameter for what you both agree upon. And as long as no one is hiding anything from the other person and you're honest about everything, it works. And live it's the your sneaky means. part right. that starts. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't have threesomes unless you have game. Well, I think again, that's what again, you're again, saying. No, 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 no. Don't have out. threesomes if you're a 30 second Johnny because you're not going to disappoint more than one girl at once. That's really fucked up. When, okay? I, when I'm looking at, well, so once again, when I'm looking at, when I'm looking at Costello here, again, it's the same, same thing I get with, with Mac and Murphy. We're using long term relationships as the litmus test for whether or not this guy is actually worthy of our time or not. Okay. The fact of the matter is, is those guys are, if they have the ability to play the field they're gonna fucking play the field okay there's not a guy who's in the lower 80th percentile of guys who are like beta male dudes who wouldn't love to be in exactly that same fucking place and they would do exactly the same fucking thing if they could get if they could get to yeah, it yeah. and, and they would never get married would too, and they would never just, it's just it's just a very interesting distinction right? because when you talk about sociosexual yeah. sociosexual women when they want sex sex manifests because they're women and right. women can get sex easier mm -hmm. there's Let's often a group of men that want to cheat and cannot cheat there's a group of men who are sociosexual and then there's a group of men below them that wishes they were sociosexual does that yeah. make sense and when you look at when you look at and by the way I've looked it updated numbers here let's just say of the bottom quarter to 20 percent of men are just not having any luck with women whatsoever and then we have this median uh, i forgot is the is the median five and the mean is 15 i think number of sexual partners for a man and then when we get in the top uh five percent it's 50 zero five 50 that's what it looks like like for a lifetime yes for a lifetime and then the thing is but, but here's but here's the but here's the difference the, that that top five percent of men it used to be 35 now it's Not going up to 50. Week. That, that, that top five, meaning like there's a group of men at the top who are having more sex but women in general are having the same amount so hmm what does that mean it means a lot more women are having sex with these guys up at the top it doesn't mean all of them this whole idea that 80 percent of women are fucking 20 percent of men no one's saying that no one but knows eight, that but 80 thing. But 80% yeah, of the women are attracted to those 20% of men. They're just not fucking 20% yeah. of those men. Yeah. I think that's a, that's, a, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Yeah. They, I also want to uh, address your point, too, is exactly, is that um, there's, we have, I mean, Rich Cooper has a saying, which is, you know, women don't care about men's struggles. They only care, they only wait at the finish line and they fuck the winners, basically. I only halfway agree with that. 
The other half of that equation is that not every woman is going to be one of those women that's waiting at the finish line, okay? okay? So what they have to do is when they are in, say, between 18 and 28, somewhere in their prime, sometimes when they have the most sexual agency, that's when they have to make a bet on a guy. Yeah. A yep. guy who has fucking potential. Yeah. Right. So, like, for instance, right. like, when I met my wife, she made more money than I did. I had, like, a white pickup truck. I had a half stack, and I had a guitar. That's my liquid fucking assets when yeah. I was in. And I was competing with guys who were, like, she was a medical professional, who were radiologists, ER docs, and everything. Yeah. And I beat all those motherfuckers out. Yeah, right? and Because go. I had potential. Yep. yep. And that's go. And that's another, you want to talk and about insight? That's that. part of That's part of the insight. Yeah. So, are you going to get with a guy who's going to be uh, a winner, a winning horse, or r- a, who's a going to cross? Who's going let's, to? Who's let's going to take cross? Take off the S. Who's and, going uh, to? Real here. Who's going to cross the finish line? <laughs> And you're already in the car with that guy when he crosses the finish line, yeah. and it's like, bye, bitches, because you know, right. I like, stuck we, with this guy. We've been all... here. Right. We know. So, we built this so you, together. yeah, you have you have a shared it's history. Called, too. And when you get off, together. he leave you ask for a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's called what? I don't think I'm allowed to say it on YouTube. Never mind. <laughs> but then what about like the Wolf of Wall Street effect? Right? <laughs> what are you talking about? As soon as he made money. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he made money, the girl that yeah. like held him down and even right. gave him the business idea of the pink slip. And as soon as he saw Margot Robbie, he was like, all right. And that's. Out. That's why women are very that. That's the, the you, making that bet and making yeah. that because yeah. women's sexual agency and their sexual power decays over time. Yeah. Exactly what what happens. So, so yeah. that's the, the but main. But the thing in that movie oh. is she wasn't doing what he was doing. Well, the, the main, the you know main, I mean? yeah. the main concern, the main fear is oh, that right. you're going to invest right. all, in all, life, invest all of your yeah. okay. Isn't Jelly Roll a cool <laughs> story though? Like, aren't they cool? That's adorable. Like, isn't that a cool story? Yes. The what? Did I hear about that? Jelly Roll and his wife, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I don't know enough cool about story? it, but yeah. That's I have no idea what you're So there's this, I don't know, person in the music industry, I guess it goes by Jelly Roll. I just oh, the, about it the recently. the overweight guy and with the blind girl? like, the girl that he's with, like... She's saw hot. The potential yeah. and like, she, like suck it through him for and time. like you know it's just a cute little fucking story. I mean, like yeah. Gucci Mane. You uh, know yo, what I mean? So, he so, was so I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring this up because again we get this we get this criticism on the show that we only attack women. Okay, this is r- ridiculous. No, I want to say this again. Men are more likely to commit domestic abuse. Men are more likely to commit SA. Men are more likely to commit. They're more likely to commit murder. They're more likely to be uh, victims of violent crime. They're more likely to take their own lives. We're aware of these things. Men are more likely to cheat. They are. I You've know been so- saying since I met you that women are. No, I haven't. So- I promise you, you. You know what? You Michael. got it on video. I've never Michael. said. I've never said women are more Before likely to cheat. Before I have a titty attack, you have said that a hundred times. Titty attack. I've never said. I want to see what that. I, what I said. I know, what right? I said was. <laughs> what the fuck? What I said was. What I said was. <laughs> That's a special oh attack. <laughs> what, I, what I said was, what I said was, women were more. What I said was, get over here. There are some people in the red pill who think <laughs> women are more likely to cheat. I'll hold them. Like Sadia Khan believes women are more likely to cheat, and that's her opinion. I haven't seen any data to back that up. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, I totally can see as a woman, it's like you put you back this one guy. You do so when you're 23 years old. You have to make the most important decision of your life Woo. when you're at the youngest part of your life. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? You have to make yeah. the most most important. Yeah. Decision, and then you do so, and you make the wrong decision, and yeah, now you're you kind of screwed. Live with that. Exactly, which is why I think so it totally totally makes sense I, when I fifty-year-old men want to date a nineteen, twenty-two-year-old girl, and like, oh, I want to lock this girl down because she's young and fertile. But in reality, it's not that. I mean, she doesn't have life experience. She's not going right. to say no to you. She's going to be more willing to submit to you. They just want to back off. Yeah, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't know if that's no, true. I, mean, I, I don't know. I, that. I, I know plenty of very <laughs> manipulative twenty-two-year-old women right. who are fucking <laughs> raking it. it in on OnlyFans right. while having three sugar daddies. <laughs> yeah, but that's twenty-two. Like, what, 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 what is the average of that? Listen, listen. Listen. I love Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle talked about this. He goes, when I was fifteen years old. He goes, when I was fifteen years old, I was doing stand-up comedy. I knew the difference of somebody. He was talking about. R. Kelly is like, I knew the difference if somebody wanted to pee on me or not when I was 15 years old. I had a full fucking understanding of what the world was on 15. I'm just like, I know some super advanced 22 year old women who have game. So this idea, like, I'm not, like, I I understand. It's like, as men, we make the decision later on in life, we have a little bit longer of of a reproductive lifespan, and women have a shorter one. And so because of that, women have to make the decision sooner, which is biologically unfair. And is it a double standard? Fuck yes, it is a double standard. But what we makes never said it, it was. awesome. What makes it awesome though is that when you go through that, you learn from that and you grow from that. 
And then oh, when yeah. you do I find know. your person, you know how to act. I mean, yeah. it's all about living and learning. You got to go through that. And when and when you decide to put your foot down as a woman and take care of a man or help bring up a man or I mean, that makes you an even stronger woman. And I mean, we can go back in the Bible. What does it say? We need each other at the end of the day. And we do so much for men. We do men. What did, who is it? Was it Chris Rock? I think it was Chris Rock. Man is only faithful as his options. He said he spent all his money on. He said he's made millions of dollars and he spent all his money on pussy.